I'm going to show you how to make a clock app um, using geometry expressions. First, here's a circle for the clock face. Um, and let's make this the second hand. Let's make this the minute hand so we know it's the minute hand. Let me uh, uh, change its thickness, make it thicker. And let's make an hour hand. Um, Here's a guideline for the error hand, but we're going to put it, um, the actual hand is not going to stretch the whole way to the circumference of the circle. Uh, so I'm going to position point E, e at a certain proportion, Let's make it make it four-fifths of the way um, along the line from A to D, and then we'll make um, A, E uh, have a, a thickness of five. So now I would like point B to rotate around the clock, but I'd like it to go clockwise, whereas mathematical angles go counterclockwise, so I'd like that to be at location pi by 2 um, minus S. Uh, some variable S has been introduced, and we see it's got this particular value. We see that S is between a couple of relatively arbitrary values, but I'm, I want it to run from 0 to 2 pi. Likewise, I'd like point C to be at pi by 2 minus M from minutes. Again, M has got some sort of value here, but we'd like it to run from 0 to 6.283. And then D, I'd like it to lie um, at location pi by 2 minus h for hours and again I'd like h to run from 0 to 6.283 at 2 pi. Now I can clean up my diagram by uh, hiding some things that I don't want to be visible. I will hide the, the tail end of the um, hour hand but we'd also like to hide all these points and perhaps we'd like the uh, to fill um, our circle. So now when I export the HTML5 JavaScript app um, I have for my inputs, I've got H, M, and S. What I'd like H to be set to is a timer. And the timer, I get to set the, the style, and there are a variety of styles, but for um, an hour hand, I'd like it to be a 12 hour period, uh, continuous. For my minute hand, again, I'd like it to be a timer. And my uh, timer style, I'd like to be um, a one hour. A period in one minute increments and then my second hand again I want that attached to a timer um, and my timer style um, I would like it to be a one minute period in one second increments so now when I look at my app I see it's a little clock. Uh, the second hand is is moving around um, with uh, an increment every second. Uh, the time displayed is the correct time that appears um, on the computer. And once the second hand uh, reaches the end of its uh, um, its traversal, we'll see that the minute hand. Um, also will move forward. I'll just wait until then and then stop. There we go.